A Kankakee girl saw the kindness of strangers when the local government shut down her lemonade stand. But as Jim Williams tells us, a communications fiasco has now turned into a sour situation for the family. So when the Good Samaritans came through for you, you thought that's it. I thought it was over with and thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I can breathe. When we told you Kankakee County had shut down Haley Martinez's lemonade stand because the family did not have water and sewer service, many were touched by the 11-year-old girl. I really want to go back to sell the lemonade. The response was enormous early this month. Good Samaritans reached out to us offering help, then paid off the delinquent water and sewer bills, payments made directly to Aqua, Illinois. Service was restored. So imagine Haley's mom's response when she got the new water and sewer bills. I don't even think I can say those words. <laughs> I, I cussed in my head. The new sewer bill? They say you owe 672. Right. $672. Here's the water bill. $357 paid. Remaining balance? Zero. But go to the bottom of the statement and you see this. Amount due? $295. It is confusing. An Aqua, Illinois spokeswoman says records show 13,000 gallons of water was used at the Martinez home over several months, and the new bills reflect that usage. But as we said earlier, Kankakee County forced Haley to close her lemonade stand because it said the family did not have water and sewer service. As for the tough spot she's in now, Iva Martinez wonders why Aqua, Illinois did not tell the Good Samaritans the total amount owed. Why didn't they say all this in the beginning when everybody was trying to help me and how am I going to do this now? Jim Shilson of the Watchdog Group, the Citizens Utility Board, agrees, saying based on what he knows, Aqua, Illinois should have communicated the full amount to the Good Samaritans rather than, in his words, created this headache for a family that's already been through a lot. Aqua, Illinois, told us it wants to work with the family to offer assistance. Live in the newsroom, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Erica, Brad. All right, Jim, thank you.